this is the one baby picture that I have um, of myself with my mom. You know, because we had the cap on how many immigrants, Asian immigrants, were allowed to come to the United States very early on, the only people that were allowed to come in were, you know, highly educated, highly skilled people. And what they don't understand was that there was also a huge wave of refugees, people escaping the war, people escaping impoverished conditions. And so my parents, along with my uncle and my aunts, even though they were quite successful in Korea, they came with very little education. And so they really had to start from the bottom. Instead of being embarrassed by the fact that, you know, your parents don't have like amazingly cool jobs, you know, just understanding their struggle and understanding their sacrifice. This is a photo from my high school graduation. I, I did realize how special and unique that situation was um, going to school with, and growing up in a city, with the majority Asian community. You realize like how underrepresented you are. I can distinctly recall growing up with such limited characters um, and still wanting to be in the business, not being discouraged by that at all, not being discouraged by it until you actually get in it and you realize how limited the opportunities were and, you know, the types of roles that were available to people who look like us. It was only, it was only discour discouraging in the moment. <laughs> it was one of the first roles that was offered to me. I had originally passed on it. They came back and I was going to do this. I accepted and I met some of my closest friends from doing this job. You may not need a man to teach you how to fight, but you can learn a thing or two from me. You know, I got to meet and a friend, Jennifer Morris, who I'm so friends with today. And it was really cool to be on set with her because she already thought like a director. She taught me that it's so important to be a part of the process. Um, it's important to be on set to know what's going on, what side of the line uh, you need to be on for continuity, how many more shots do you need in order to finish up this scene for the editors. You know, she, she helped me think in a different way just from watching her. This was on the set of Love Left Country. This is one of the projects where I was able to work with some of the most talented people, um, one being Michael Cable. And what that person taught me was that everything mattered, everyone mattered. It's how you make that person feel is what matters. And so he made everyone feel special. Everyone was part of the team. It was a dream to go to Italy with my husband. It was a dream to go to Pompeii. This is, this is where the photo was taken. It was a dream to go and travel the Amalfi. There's so much history in Pompeii and to be able to have all of that information on my phone with an app with script I, it was it was a fun way to rediscover novels um, that you know kind of romanticized that part of the world Te the technology is really is really incredible and i do think that we take that for granted sometimes